quality Nollywood films, you should link up on Sonny Richie Nolly TV. Sonny Richie Nolly TV. Sonny Richie Nolly TV. something terrible happened in the palace and um, I have arrived in accordance with the urgent demand and I'm so shocked you are not saying anything. Oh no, you are one of the men who sit in positions of authority in this kingdom. There is no reason I will ever rush a man like you. I am waiting for you to come down before I present the reason I called you. Thank you very much yes, for that compliment. Hey. Good afternoon, Your Majesty. Good afternoon, Your Majesty. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, no, you're welcome. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. How are you today? I'm okay. I'm just thank you. <laughs> you're yeah. welcome. Thank you. I will come back later. I, I never knew no is here. No problem. Come back when it's gone. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, That's my beautiful wife. Yes, yes. Yeah. Back to the topic and that discussion, I just want to find out from you. The Council of Elders of Uma Meliba Kingdom, what is their impression about to come out of my son? You know, I hold you in high esteem. I trust you absolutely, so there is no reason you will ever lie to me. Your Majesty, apart from me being the Unowu of this kingdom, I am so close to you as a friend. So, so yeah, you, like you said, but that, that is no way I can lie to you. It's not possible. Okay. Uh, the truth of the matter is that the body of kingmakers of Fumo Melibre are already waiting for you. Okay. They are waiting for you to present your son, or comrade, as the crown prince and heir apparent to the throne. But they have already decided to allow you to do it your own way. So, the ball is in your court. So, do I have the assurances of your highest regards that if I'm unable to do it this year, that they can wait for me until next year? When is it? Why not? Now, listen. You have already made it very clear to them that you want your son, Okomade, to be so deeply grounded in culture and tradition of the land. You made it clear to them. So, they have no option than to wait. They too would like your son, our prince, to, to learn well. So he becomes a good king, a trusted king. Like father, like son. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, so that is it. Oh no! Oh no, you got to man. Oh, the world is going to go, yes, you get it, one go, no go. Now you live long, my kid. It's a good man. They get out of them. They get out of them. They get out of them. Now that Omo is gone, can we talk about it? Talk about what? Everything, Your Majesty. Everything. And I want to make it clear that I will conclude there is a conspiracy against me in my husband's house. If you fail to tell me what is going on here and now. Sit down. First of all is that you have not said anything at all. So I need you to define what you mean by conspiracy in your husband's house. Then secondly, you have to tell me who is conspiring against who. You have to provide answers to all these questions for me to understand where this is coming from. Initially, I thought you had your eyes on that slave girl. But I realize there is more to it. Prince Izuna is interested in her. Now you want our son to go and compete with him. Your Majesty, how do you explain that? Did you just hear that? No, did I just hear you speak? You are thinking that Eze Okati Igwe of Uma Meligwe Kingdom has been looking at a slave what kind of insult is that? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. 
But I'm confused. Honestly, any woman in my shoes will feel the same. Listen, listen. I don't want to discuss this nonsense with you ever again. If that maiden is going to get married to a prince who will eventually become a king in a kingdom, then I want you to mark it somewhere that that prince must be a comrade of my son. That is what is going to happen. And nobody can do anything about it. Do not ever discuss this with me again. Why is everything getting weird by the minute? I want you to tell me the truth and nothing but the truth. Who are you? Confused, Your Majesty. I am the same Ija Willie that you know. That is not what I am saying. So don't play dumb with me. Because I know you know where I'm coming from. I, I don't know, Your Majesty. But if it is my background you're asking of, sincerely, I don't know. I am only but a slave. And there is no slave that knows his or her background. The reason we are slaves, Your Majesty. Okay. Tell me. Are you in any way connected to some extraterrestrial realm? I mean, do you feel you possess some kind of spiritual powers? Your Majesty, I, I, I don't have any powers, and I'm not connected anywhere. And I ask again, sometimes when you are alone, do you see spirits of departed elders giving you instructions? No, no Your Majesty, I, 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 you're beginning to scare me. I don't see anybody giving me instructions. Get out. Thank you, Your Majesty. I am sorry for what happened earlier today. I didn't mean to get you angry. I just wanted to know why my husband is suddenly interested in the sleeve. Sit. Maybe I should just let it out. We discovered eventually that Ijawole is not just an ordinary girl. She is not a servant like we had always believed. She is the choosing one. Choosing one of Chukwokika Biyama. And she has a link to greatness. Your Majesty, you're getting me confused. I don't understand. Is it the same Ijawele or someone else? The same Ijawele. The same one. An incident happened two years ago. You remember those days when I used to travel to Nono to be with Okechukwi Bango, my very good friend, right? Yes, I remember. And we lost him early this year. And you only know that before anybody can get to Nono from here, that the person must pass through the Omambala River, right? You've said that before. I've not been to Nono. That very day, as, uh, as he was seeing me off, 
I lost the sacred staff of authority that empowered me as the king of Umo Meribwe Kingdom. What? Um, Your Majesty, wait. You lost the staff of authority as the king of this kingdom since three years ago. And you never mentioned it to me? Yes, because I kept hoping that I would find it. You know, as I was in the boat coming back from Onono, I slipped. And in my effort to prevent a fall, I lost control and the staff that I was holding fell off and fell into the waters of Omambala and disappeared in the deepest part of the conclave of that very deep river. And you did not engage the divers to find it? I did. I did everything. In fact, I continued searching for help from within and outside this kingdom, hoping that they will find it. And uh, you know yourself what will happen if the people of this kingdom will find out that their king is no longer holding on to the staff that empowered him as kings. You know, right? I have come before you with heavy heart. I am indeed very troubled. I am here because I know you to be a great seer. And I believe you are the only one who can assist me solve this problem that I have now. What brings the king before me? There is this horn that empowers me as the king of Umu Meligo Kingdom. It's an ancient instrument that I received from my fathers. As I'm talking to you now, that ancient horn has gone missing. I lost it in the waters of Omambala as I was coming back from Onono. I have done everything humanly possible to retrieve it from that water and it is not working out. I engaged the services of all the divers of Anam, divers of Agleri, Umweri, Nzam. I even went as far as getting divers from a norm. All of them combed the floor of that river and they were not able to find that horn for me. This is giving me sleepless nights. And that is why I'm here. Is there a way you can assist me? Find that horn that empowers me as the king of Umu Meligwa Kingdom. Amongst the birds is found one with a difference. There is a certain maiden in your palace, a slave in your palace. Her name is Ijawele. She was actually given to me by the people of Umudora. I still remember what happened. A royal cow from our Umu Miligwe kingdom had wandered into Umudora and they slaughtered that cow without knowing it was a royal cow. And then information got to me that a royal cow had been slaughtered in Umudora and I sent words across to them that they have to pay back with seven cows or I will kill every single living thing in Umudora. Instead of giving me the seven cow to quench the burning flame, the anger of an angry king, they give me a human instead. And that human is the Jawele you are talking about. What has she got to do with this? That is the only maiden that can retrieve the star from where it is. Why are you confusing me with your shepherd? Under normal circumstances, a slave cannot even touch that horn. Why now will you say that a slave is the one that will assist me to retrieve it? 
How is that possible? Ijawele is not a slave. What? It was Chuku Kikabiyama that caused the slaughtered cow to wander into Umudora. He lured them to appease you with a human instead of the seven cows you demanded. That maiden already holds a special place in the history of Umomeligwe. She will definitely grow into a woman and she will be the one to tell you where the staff is. But one thing, she must not be pressurized. Do not force her to do this. That's the story. And I continued hoping that one day she will willingly come forward to me with the staff and give it back to me. It has not happened. And the way fear she bear the eye that sees tomorrow told me that I must not. In fact, that she must not be pressurized into doing this. Your Majesty. I still can't believe that you could keep this away from me all these years. It's for a purpose. What you are saying has to do with the very staff that empowered me as the king. I didn't want anybody to hear it. You know the implication yourself. So you don't have to be angry. Don't be offended. Honestly, I'm angry. I am so angry because it was this same Ono oh, no, that I always kick against that crippled you like this. And what do you mean by that? to leave early because I have a long journey ahead of me. Ono oh, no is far from here, you know that. I will come back in two days. Okay? Have a wonderful day. Your Majesty, I am not comfortable with this your journey. Why? Why are you always the one going to see him? Can't he come here? Listen. Okay, Shukui Banugo, my old friend who lives in Ono no is an old man. And we have come a long way. I should be the one going to visit an old man, not waiting for an old man to pay me a visit. Yeah. If we have a lot of things that we are running together, like old friends, you will understand what that means. So I should be leaving, okay? How am I sure you don't have a mistress there? Oh, hey, baby, how can you allow your mind to wander like this? So wide. Your husband is not that kind of man. I am a credible man who always do credible things. Don't ever read useless minutes into my visit to my old friend. I will be back before you know it, okay? Nothing stupid. Nothing bad. See you when I'm back. Okay. <laughs> Women of Anam are said to know the art of handling men. Could they be the ones he's always going there to be with? I've always had my reservations about this oh no, no. Now see where it has brought us. I actually stopped going to Onono because of this very incident. I mean, what is a king without his staff of authority? Okay. As a way forward, we have to stop treating Ejawila as a slave. She has something you need desperately. So we have to elevate her to royalty at once. I have this feeling that she'll be moved to give you what you need. 
everywhere, my beautiful wife. Intelligent everywhere. How come I never thought of this all this while? Have I not been the one that has been practically planning everything for you? If you had mentioned this to me before now, it would have been a settled issue by now. I agree with you completely. You have my, my permission. Go ahead. Elevate her to royalty immediately. As in, you actually told me in confidence that she is the destiny of his son. Little did he know that she is equally the destiny of my own son. Because the comrade of my son cannot ascend the throne of Umumeligwa kingdom without the staff. And this Jawole is the one who will find that staff. Now I believe you are seeing the reason I am insisting. Yes. She, she must have to become his wife. Yes. I am fully in support as well. Not to worry, Your Majesty. Everything will soon fall in place. Are you in any way connected to some extraterrestrial realm? Extraterrestrial realm. Spiritual powers. So why, why, why would she even think that of me? Hello? You know, I'm just here restless. Thinking about you. Who's this? How are you doing, my love? Called me. How on earth did he get my number? Are you finally going to say yes to him? Is this some sort of joke, Amaka? I am a slave. Besides, I cannot get married to someone who my masters hasn't approved of it, and I am not even thinking about his proposal at all. And what did you tell him when he called? I hope you were nice to him. Hold on a second. Hmm. It was you. You gave him my number. It was you. Listen, once you get married to that man, your life will change. And when your life changes, I know you will not forget us. And that is why we're doing everything possible to make sure it works. Because once you get married to that man, your life will turn around for good. <laughs> My God. I, do, I don't even know what to tell you, girl. You don't have to say I, anything. Just say yes to me. She's a special clean from God. She got me wrong. Oh, she's the Greetings, Your Majesty. You sent for me. She's an How was Your Majesty? And she's hmm? so precious. And she's a a precious gift from God. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. Sit down. And she is so precious. She is a I should sit. Good morning, Jawili. Okay. I know exactly what is running through your head. But it's indeed a new era. So feel free. Sit down. Go ahead. Thank you, Your Majesty. It 
Jawele. I would like to ask you something. And I will appreciate it if you tell me everything you know about it. No, Your Majesty. Or any missing stuff of the king? No, Your Majesty. I, 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 I've never heard anything about the king's secret stuff. Are you sure? Very sure, Your Majesty. All right. You may go. Thank you, Your Majesty. She's a special gift from God. She got me wrong. Oh, she's the future of me. I, I, I spoke with Queen Jawele today. Obviously, she does not know anything about the stuff. Oh, this woman, this woman. Why would you do that? But I told you that this maiden must not be pressurized, must not be pushed. Did not I tell you that? Honestly, I was very gentle with her. I did not pressurize her at all. I, I was just curious. Curious about what? You know, why must you always do things without approval? That girl is a special one. And I believe that at the appointed time, she's going to comfort. Don't ever ask her anything again. Please. Oh, okay. Good. I... I've given instructions as regards her transformation. The tailor is at work already. Good. That's exactly what we agreed. That is what you should be doing. Not asking the girl any question. Don't do it again. Right. Please. Something is happening that no one is telling me. Why am I suddenly being pampered like a princess? Why is the queen now talking to me as if I'm her daughter? Why, why did he buy me loads and loads of new wares? Is it, is it the prince of Omori that is doing this? Will they finally allow me to go be with him? Why are they so good to me all of a sudden? Greetings, Your Majesty. You look so beautiful. Thank you. This is so beautiful. Come here. Turn around. Wow. I trust the former the real designer. This is beautiful. <sighs> Hope you like your new room. Yes, Your Majesty. I do. You're welcome, my dear. Thank you, Your Majesty. <sighs> Thank you for everything, and may God reward you abundantly. Amen. You're welcome. You deserve all the special treatment in the whole world. You're indeed a special and destined maiden. And we need to treat you like the daughter of God you are. Ijawili. Yes, Your Majesty. You may not understand, but the rest assured that from now onwards, you will no longer be treated like an ordinary palace maiden. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. It's okay. I will attach a special maiden to you that will run all your errands. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Um, enjoy yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
No way, no, no, no. Am I dreaming or what? A special maid assigned to me. This isn't happening. No way. No way. This isn't happening. A special maid. Someone who would clean my room, wash my dresses. Wash my dresses? This is too much. Ijawale, is this happening? I summoned you all here to inform you about the changes that was made in the palace. Ijawale here, as you all know, is no longer part of you. She is now a member of the royal family, and you all must accord her respect. I must not hear any form of disrespect towards her. Am I understood? Yes, Your Majesty. Ijawole. Yes, Your Majesty. Do you have anything to say? No, not at all, Your Majesty. Now, in the absence of none, you may all go back to your duty post. Your life has changed completely. Yours is a living example of rising from grass to grace. <laughs> and what grace are you talking about? Am I not still here with you? For how long? Mind you, you're gone already. For them to draw out money from their pocket and transform you this way. That simply means they've given their approval already. I mean completely. Look at you. <laughs> The good man has arrived all the way from Mumbrun. You have to come and see him immediately. Where is he? Outside the gates. But I don't want to see him. Please. You've got to just, just go and let him out. Please. You really want to see him. He's a good man. Please. Thank you. Just hear what he say. She carry round. She's the future of the kingdom. She's an angel and she is so oh precious my. and she is a, a precious <laughs> gift from God. Good afternoon, Your Highness. You look amazing. Thank you. I love this. Eja, well, this is a beautiful transformation. Huh? Please sit, 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 sit. Let's all stand now. Come on. You're such a beautiful woman. At some point, I was thinking you were the one behind this. Not at all, no. I have nothing to do with this. I mean, I've been waiting on you to say yes to me. So that I can transform you into the rightful princess of Omonri. Uh -huh. But this is gorgeous. Thank you, my friends. You're welcome. Does it mean the queen is the one behind this? Why is she interested in me all of a sudden? It doesn't matter. What's important is that they've done something really nice and you look amazing. Huh? And I got you something. What is it? I got you a gift. A token from my house. Go ahead. Take it. A gift from my heart. To say that I already see you as my wife, Ijawele. 
and I am ready to wait forever to have you with me. So we have here. Greetings, my prince. Why are you taking too long? Grant my request and I will make you my queen. My prince, I have told you several. The earlier you realize that I cannot grant your request, the better for both of us. You now talk back at me. Well, I am going to give you more time. You have really transformed physically. And I can't wait to see you inside. I hope you understand. Do you understand? Well, if you must be my queen, you have to prove yourself. She is favored by the gods And she got the land and bread away for king She's a special gift from God She got it all Oh, she's the future of the kingdom She's an angel and she is so precious And she's a, a precious gift from God Precious gift from God. Mm. She's a precious jewel. She's shining like a star. And she's a pretty woman. But they see her as a slave. But they don't know. She's a precious gift from God. And her destiny is so great, but may mortals care. 